Right, okay, I'm going to take the um, brake master cylinder off. Uh, first of all, well, it could be 10, but this is 11, but I painted them up. It's 11 mil on there, so you need to undo all these. If you notice, I've put a bit of cardboard underneath there to catch anything. I think most of it's drained off because I've had all brake pipes off anyway, so... So you need to undo these, lead mill, get that off. Um, what else you need to do? And also, once you took these off, also I'd, and then you've got your 13 mil socket there. Right, I've undone them, sort of pulled them out of the way. So fortunately, most of my brake fluid's all drained off. You're going to need to take this electrical fitting off, you have to press that down, lightly wiggle it, pull that off out of the way, get that out of the way, and this tube in here, get a pry bar on it. Well, in actual fact, I might not bother with that, I might just release, see that there, release that. And the other side, hold on a minute, look, there's some plungers on the top, if you can see, see them plungers and they sink into there, so I'm going to lift that off. If you go easy, either side on them little locating pins there, and then once you wiggle it, and as you can see there, just use the prior bar and ease it up. Can you see that? So lucky enough, there's no fluid in mine. You'll have to drain it off first. And then I'll just pull that out of the way. And then while I'm at it, probably it's a bit gunged up, I'll clean all this out. And then I'll probably paint this up a bit more here. I've painted it up. Uh, next thing is the 13 mil bolts on there. Right, uh, I've undone them nuts now. You might find this a bit tight, so you, you need to give it a tap with a hammer to loosen it up like that, because they stick. And then, um, pull it off, and I'll, I'll get a pry bar over there. See how that goes. That's it, it's coming. That's it. She's out. There it is. So I've got a seal kit for that. So hopefully it'll go all right. If not, I'll have to buy a whole new shebang. Oh, watch out, I'm spilling the stuff. I've cut. I've given up on the drill. Must be... don't know what it's made out of the circuit, but I couldn't drill it. Now, with the kit, fortunately it comes with one of them. These ain't designed to be open, but they do make a kit. See, that will go in there nicely, like new supplies. I don't want to destroy that, because that's some sort of a plasticky stuff. Gouged it up a little bit. But I used a hacksaw. And I cut across. Both sides, I thought that might be an idea. Cut across in there. Just onto that bit. And now what I've done hard point screw and if you hit sort of push like watch you can see what I'm getting at and then it opens up there and then you can get a small blade right so as you sort of push that onto the side like that it's difficult to do but yeah push that in there with a hammer and hold it there and then get a screwdriver in in here and then lever that up. That's the idea. Right, watch. As you can see, it has levered away from the edge. Can you see that? So, I've sort of got that over the edge. And now I want to put a screwdriver down that lip. To then um, lever that out. Right, that plan.
plasticky bit. It is scuffed a bit, but it should be all right. That comes off of there. Then there's all my new seals in the kit, including that. That bigger seal goes in here. I'm going to paint all this up anyway, but look, there you go. Pull that one out of there, and then I'll get a screwdriver and go into that and give it a thorough clean up. That's it, all, all the rust. That bit, that's the old seal, old clip. Now, there's the seal. Just gently lever that up. I'm hoping the seal that they've given me is going to be the same in the kit. Now, yeah, they don't look bad, I don't think. Pretty much the same diameter. So obviously that will go face down. Looks slightly different, more or less the same. So put that over there. Um, uh, right. Now I've gone at these. Just get a blade, and you go just underneath there, look like that. the plungers that go onto the reservoir like that. Oh, what's in there? Let's have a look. Careful with it. Nothing. But anyway, I can clean that up, give that a wipe out with a rag. Next bit. I wrap this shaft. See there? In a bit of cloth to protect that shaft. I didn't know how to get that out. I was it's obviously like stuck in there and it wouldn't come out. You know, if it's brand new, it'd come out easy. I wrapped that around there, like that, right, a couple of turns. And then I put the them, right, underneath, like on there like that. And then I gently tapped with a hammer. All right, hold on. <laughs> trying to show see my finger tap in there look underneath right and then that that release that it shot up obviously it's spring loaded but in there and then that released it so a bit of rag around there hold it reasonably tight hammer underneath these um water pump pliers boom like that and it lifted it up the next stage there's another plunger in there, I was trying to work out how to get the thing out and then I thought it's bobbing up and down, it's obviously suctions keeping it in, so then I just turned it up, there you go, and that's your other two seals, so I'm going to wipe that out with a rag, here's all the set of seals, I think that I believe they're all the same, the whole lot, so I'm going to clean that up. Yeah, um, old bit of rag. She's gonna need to clean that out. Poke that in there. Screwdriver. We're gonna sort of turn it around a few times, clean it all up. So I'm gonna repaint all this anyway. There you go. That come out. Wipe that over. And spring. Give that a wipe. Um. There is like gunge in there, it's like a rusty gunge, I'm using the screwdriver like that and just scraping, just gently, not scratching it, scraping gently, get all that off and also round the rim here where the new seal has got to go, you need to clean that off a wire wall. Right, try and get this in the picture. Note the way the seal goes up. See, I've got the screwdriver on it again. Just lever that. Oh. It's off. <laughs> you get the gist of it. I'm trying to record here at the same time. Make sure that goes up the same way as that come off. Which would be like that. And then just get hold of it and stretch it 
touch it over there like that. Easy enough. Yeah, like that. Stretch it over. And the same, same with the other side there. Pull it off screwdriver. And then um, stretch it over again. What I found with, see that there? Right, you can prise that off blade levering it up right it makes it easier to get the seal on and then the seal goes on like that then you just push that back over right got to put the spring back in first now clean that out put the new seals on there that goes up that way So, like that, push that down, um, right next thing, um, that goes back in there. Washer on top. There's a new seal. It goes face down like so. Now um, uh, that goes on top like so. And what you're going to need to do once it's all in, you need to push. All of that down, get the seal in place first. Hold on. You need to push that in so it sucks the seal in. Hold on. Um, just been experimenting. I've got a long um, socket, 19 mil. So I need something to sort of compress that in while I'm putting the circlip in. So that goes in there like that. I can hold that and use the circlip pliers while that's held it sturdy and then get it in that recess and that'll be done all right last stage two new plungers one in there one in there and then you've got your seal there which goes over there and then fits into this recess there but before I do that, I'm going to paint, paint all this up while I put it off. 